I'm doing one of the mains, and that is crispy skin salmon with tiger prawns. I'm excited bringing out all this food, but I'm not excited about our timing. We're not ready. Uh, Justine, where are you up to? Okay, I'm up to prepping the fish uh, for the crispy salmon. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure that there are no bones in any of these because, oh, look, there you go. I can feel. Yeah, but no, you've got to pin bone those. So you need tweezers. It's going to take a long time. Yeah. Okay, so I've prepped all my fish and now I'm going to start getting the fillets ready. Okay, guys, we've got about 25 minutes till mains, all right? So don't slack off. I need to keep it warm. All right, 10 minutes. That oven's really not hot. I'm on the other side of the room, so I'm a little bit removed from what's going on. I am doing the beef with the mushroom ragu and the Irish whiskey cream sauce, and I am about halfway to three quarters of searing off the beef. I also did 10 kilos of baby potatoes for the uh, side. We're tracking all right. We should have them made out, and then it'll be all about placing up. You have five minutes to go. Gary and George called five minutes, we're plating up. And the first few that went out had a bit of blood around the mash because I pushed the meat down onto the, the spud so it bled the remainder onto the mash. I notice Andre's beef, there's a bit of blood there. That's always a risk if you don't rest the meat well enough. This is what I've been waiting for all day. I don't care how tired I am. It's plating up, getting it out there is really exciting. You've got to sit on that half. It's split in half. Yeah. Fish. Beef. So you pie. Come on. We really need to get the main courses. The waiters are waiting for the food now. They look really nice, Justine. Do you want to do centre, yeah? 30 mils, 25 mils to go, yeah? Sammy, come on, beef. We're gonna take all the mains out. Sarah and Matt are tasting our mains upstairs. I hope that they got one with not much blood on the plate. The main event, the moment we're all waiting for. Everyone's been delicately dancing around entrees and canapes, and suddenly, here you are. The big meal that's going to sustain you for the rest of the evening. Oh, that's great. Okay. Mm, oh, this is great, too. So, entrees, beef with wild mushroom ragu. And this plate looks pretty clean, but I have seen a few coming out of the kitchen. It didn't look nearly as good. And they had sort of blood leaching out the side of the meat, and it all looked a bit Can't, scary. Carnage at a wedding's not a great yeah, thing. Yeah, no, really. Yeah. That to me is definitely medium. The bride asked for medium rare. She did want a few pieces past medium, so maybe this is one of the ones where the people who like their meat slightly more cooked. Yes. When we walk round and have a chat to people, it'll be interesting to see if this is one of the rare, well-done ones, or whether it's a well-done, well-done one. My main was the, the steak. Philip was very nice. It was juicy. It was pink in the middle. I was not overcooked. If it had been, it would have gone back. <laughs> I had the beef. Absolutely beautiful. It was just cooked to perfection. Um, just absolutely delicious. Loved it. So, the other main course, Justine's crispy skin salmon with a tiger prawn and boccalini. Salmon or whale, it's huge. It's robust, definitely robust. That's flaked apart quite nicely. There's definitely some good crunch in the skin at this end. And the broccoli looks bright and green. I had the crispy skin salmon and uh, I loved it. My part of the day is finished and I'm relieved that it's all gone out, but it's no time to rest because it's time for dessert and it's time to help them because they helped us. What's happening, mate? This is too wet, right? Um, and this is too dry. Yeah. So what we need to do is get this flour into this. So... I've lost about half an hour now to this bloody cut on my hand. I just need to get back in the kitchen and motor like a man possessed. My responsibility at this point is to get the lemon tart out. I have to take the tarts out of their moulds like that, just around the sides, and slice each tart into 12 even slices. Oh. The bride should really not come down to the kitchen because if she saw what we were doing, she'd be really worried because we were like headless chooks. 
OK, listen up. You've got 15 minutes before dessert. Has to leave the kitchen, all right? Chris realises that the fact that he's been hands-on in other areas, that he hasn't done his fondant at all. And generally, the head chef in the kitchen doesn't actually have a dish of their own. Yeah, top. Perfect. The fact that Julie and I did most of the work required with the fondant... Good stuff. Thanks, Sammy. ...is just being part of that team. I did the chocolate mixture. Sam's yep. been measuring that out and we've been checking it, but I've just had to see, oversee so many people yep. that I had to delegate it. At the end of the day, one person potentially is going to go home, OK? So you need to make sure your fondant is spot on. All right? Yep. Think about that. Don't forget about it. I'm quite annoyed that Chris has delegated his dessert to everyone, and if he gets credit for this, I will be really, really upset. Right, you've got five minutes to go. So, hope the desserts are ready to go. Sam, tarts are all plated up. Yep, ready, ready to, to come back onto the pass. Yep. You've got customers to feed. This is your last course. Watch out, watch out. OK, let's boogie, let's serve it now. Everybody is working flat chat. Whether other people did more on their dish and less on others, it doesn't matter, as long as the food goes out on time and is beautiful. Good job on the fondant. Well done. Well done. That looks great. I am so relieved. The tart looks really nice, elegant and simple, and my fondant looks really, really nice. Concentrate and finish it off, guys. You're doing a brilliant job. I need three more tarts and one fondant. Mate, they've done a really, really good job. Guys, it's the last bit. Let's keep going. I think we're going to make it. It's not over until Fat Georgie sings, <laughs> all right? I know all the guests are upstairs eating our desserts, but Matt and Sarah are up there tasting all the dishes. And I know Matt is going to be really looking hard at my fondant, so I hope like hell he loves it. I'm, I'm quite tense, actually, at this moment. I don't know if you are. <laughs> I want to get straight stuck into that chocolate fondant pudding, but look how it's oozing like magma down the mountainside of Mount Etna. That is the way a chocolate fondant pudding should be. That's a cracker. I can look at that and tell you right now that that is going to be the dish of the night. That's phenomenal. Do you think that Chris has produced that downstairs? Incredible. That is a perfect chocolate fondant. He's delivered exactly what he's supposed to deliver, and he's done it beautifully. I, I was the one that went for the chocolate, and it tasted exquisite. The chocolate was lovely. I the put flame. the fork into it, and it just opened up, and the, the chocolate melted out. It was just, uh, it's just wonderful. Let's move on to Sam's lemon and lime tart. It has a big, big job to do to eclipse that dessert. This needs to be an absolute killer if he wants to stay out of the bottom two. I'm a little bit concerned here about the, the colour of the, the colour of the pastry around the back. It looks a little bit like a little bit dark, and I'm concerned that may may be a little bit dry. Is it great pastry? No, it's not great pastry. It's not the sort of pastry where you go and do this, and the last thing you eat is that crust because it's so delicious. I agree with you, it does come down to the pastry. This is not the best I've tasted. The lemon tart, I thought the pastry was a little bit thick and a little bit dry. The lemon burst with flavour and I really loved that, but the actual crust to me was a little bit thick. Then the last food item of the night is the wedding cake that we took all night to bake. <laughs> <laughs> Wedding cake's a moment in any wedding where the bride and the groom just get to share the moment of their love. And the wedding cake's the centrepiece to that. It needs to be something they look back on and go, wow, that was our wedding cake. Yeah, there's a gluten-free half and a normal half, and it's really hard to get a nice gluten-free cake. It's delicious. There's a lot of blood, sweat and tears in that thing, but it tastes brilliant. I thought they'd struggle to get this done on time, but... Um... You've done a great job. Excellent job. Very impressed. The challenge is over. It's been a stressful situation, but we did it. We pulled it off. 
brilliant, brilliant job. Well done. Relish this moment, because it's fantastic. You did a fantastic job. Yeah. Woo! Well done. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we've finished and we've done it well, and it was the best feeling ever. We just wanted to say thank you so much to Sean and Andrea for allowing us to be part of your wedding. It means a lot to be here with you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to thank all the chefs for the uh, supreme effort. It was just fantastic food.